T.J. Bickerstaff into the game for B.C. He missed six games with a calf injury, came back over the weekend against Georgia Tech. Turnover by Pitt. Ashton Langford pulls up and gets the bounce. And you love those opportunities. Oh, you got the angle, you got to get it down low. Hughley, the nice feed, and it's Burton for the finish to try to get it to 23, a repost now. And it's Hughley from 15 feet. He's got eight. BC Biggs got into foul trouble in that game. Karnick fouled out. Mm -hmm. Karnick that time got rid of it quickly. DeMar Langford is there. Probably earned a whistle because with how competent the drive was and composed. Burton wide open. Hits the first place, but don't forget about Ryan Sidney now. Dude, yeah. It was a problem as well. Mogi from the outside. Zachary driving around Burton. The wow. basket is good. They wow. gave him the continuation. Karnick. Bank shot good. They're literally trying to figure out in these final two and a half minutes, and it's showing. Karnick, he's got 11 to lead all scores. Makai Ashton Langford, baseline drive, gives it up. Karnick right around Hughley. Lamar Langford against Santos. Post, quarter three. Good. Post over Hughley. Good. Delivering the shot. It's a clear look at the goal. Post has a nice rhythm beyond the arc. Hughley. And finally, a field goal for Pitt. Got to find Bickerstaff at that mid-post. Zachary, he's been a dead eye in conference play. It seems far-fetched, but don't be surprised if that happens. In that backcourt, another year under their belt together, you start to turn some losses into wins. Brevin Galloway, the basket. Zachary lost it. Jeffress dives for it. Here comes Horton, in the quarter, key. And there's your king of Staten Island. Big time. One thing we have seen with the Irish this year, on the days when the shots don't fall as Hughley thunders one home. Fighting that competitive edge and defensive spirit. He's kind of the main defensive artery through which everything flows and provides that, that contagious mindset. This was a two-point game with four minutes and change to go in the first half. BC went on a 22-3 run, and the Eagles cruised from there.